Another important consideration when you're dealing with your paragraphs in your documents is widow and orphan control. And this is something that is working on your behalf, whether you know it or not. So that's why I want to spend some time pointing it out here. And to start out, I want you to do this. I want you to type in equals R-A-N-D. This is another variable that will add random text. Now you can use it without uh, some qualifiers like 4-8. So this will add four paragraphs and each paragraph should be eight lines of text long. So if I hit enter here, it just adds some random text that is not Latin, lorem, lorem ipsum text. And so now that I've got this text added to the page, all I want you to do right now is just watch because I've got something set up differently than you probably do with your copy of Word right now. And all I'm going to do is set my cursor in the middle of this last paragraph and then I'm going to start hitting the return or enter key to make a new paragraph. So I'm going to hit it a couple of times and, and what I'm waiting for is the bottom of the page. And when I get to the bottom of the page, this is going to happen. At least it's going to happen in my document. It should not be happening in your document. But this right here is something that's known as a widow. And a widow is a single line at the top of the page. There's a little mnemonic that can help you remember it if you need to. It's a widow has no future. But that is something that Word works to prevent by default. The opposite of a widow, where you have a single line that's a part of a paragraph that appears at the top of the page all by itself, the opposite of that is an orphan. And you almost have to force an orphan to happen. An orphan is a single line at the bottom of the page. And the mnemonic for that is an orphan has no past. So... If you get to the bottom of the page, even if I get to the bottom of the page, Word wants to put a paragraph together. So I almost have to manually make one here. So I'm just going to type in some uh, random text real quick. Uh, I'm going to go actually up a paragraph and just type some nonsense words. And when I get to the end of the line there, here we are. So that is an orphan. Once again, it is a single line of text that is part of this paragraph, but there is a page break in between. Not a page break, a formatting page break, but just it spans from one page to the other, and it's just kind of all by itself. Now, as I mentioned at the very top of this lesson, Word is working to prevent these kinds of things from happening, prevent widows and prevent orphans in your document. And it does that because of this setting right here. If I go to the paragraph dialog box and I go to line and page breaks, this should be checked on your copy of Microsoft Word, Widow and Orphan Control. And this is a default setting. So when I click on OK, you can see that as long as my cursor is in that paragraph I was just working with, you can see what the effect is. It puts the first line of text with the rest of the paragraph. And it will do the same thing to try to prevent widows where possible. So there's almost no instance where you would want to turn that off. You want to generally prevent widows and orphans from happening in your document. That's proper formatting or generally accepted formatting, and it just looks better and is less disruptive to the reader. Now let's talk about these other options because you may have noticed in that paragraph dialog box that you see these three options, keep with next, keep lines together, and page break before. Here they are defined. Keep with next is keeping groups of paragraphs on the same page. Keep lines together prevents paragraphs from splitting between pages, and a page break before starts a paragraph at the top of the page no matter what. So let's look at one of these options here, especially the keep lines together, and show you how it would impact uh, the formatting of a paragraph or the appearance of a paragraph between two pages. So let's go back up to this paragraph that I've been working with. Now it is perfectly possible that you might have a paragraph that is split between two pages. So right here I've removed the paragraph break between this line of nonsense text that I was typing 
and this next line, this next sentence, you can collapse parts of the document. So it is perfectly normal, if you have a longer paragraph, to have three lines on one page and two lines on the other, or ten lines on one page and ten lines on the other. That may very well happen when you are typing, and that's perfectly fine. Again, Word is working to prevent widows and orphans. If, however, I want to keep the lines together in this paragraph and make sure that the paragraph appears as one thought on a separate page, I click on OK, and now the paragraph is not going to be separated. Even if it exists on this page, and I'll just delete the extra line breaks that I created, the extra paragraph breaks, and then I start to get down to the bottom of the page, notice what happens to the paragraph. The entire paragraph moves to the next page. And again, that is because that has been checked. And by the way, if you're wondering why I don't see widow and orphan control, it's because when I started deleting spaces, I deleted the paragraph break that was between that nonsense word and the word you. So this paragraph that I'm now working with was part of the original text that I set up, which was not using the, window, uh, the widow and orphan control. So the bottom line with this discussion on your widow and orphan control and discussing some other uh, formatting options that you have in that paragraph settings dialog is that for most of the documents, 90 to 95% of the documents that you work with, you will want to enable widow and orphan control and leave these others disabled because generally speaking, they end up creating situations where you have too much white space at the beginning and end of the pages. And that's generally not what you want if you just have page after page of text in a paper or a report or something like that. So most of the time, most of your documents, widow and orphan control being enabled, that default is what you want. And it will produce results that look more or less like this.